What's going on guys, Core Previant here with another how to. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to again hack Outriders and uh, well bypass the EAC. So um, we do have, still have tables available and we have some trainers, but you guys probably have your own. So we also have the EAC bypass if you need that. This will work on multiplayer and single player on the New Horizons update. However, it has been moved to the donator area of our forums. So if you're interested in becoming a donator, please look at the description below and join our Discord or just come to our website and uh, everything's in the description below to help you out and um, get you started. Anyway, once you've been given permission on our website, you'll simply go to the Outriders Halo multiplayer, multiplayer Bypass. Now, we can confirm that this works with Halo Master Chief and it works with Outriders. We cannot guarantee that it will work with any other EAC game. We have been told it works with select others, it just depends if they're using the same version or not. So after you get the right, you get in there, go ahead and just click click here where it'll download and you're going to see it pop up in the, if you're using Chrome, you're going to see it pop up in the bottom left. Now, I've already put mine in a separate folder and you can see it right here. So all you need to do is go ahead and extract it, which I'm going to just, because I want to not skip anything. So I'm going to show you guys everything. There's the two files. Now, you also want to open up another folder, and you want to navigate to your Outriders folder. Now, nor normally the directory is going to be your C drive, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Outriders, and then you're going to look for your easy anti-cheat folder, which is going to be located right at the top. Inside, you're going to see two files. These are your original files. You do not want to lose these, so you want to just rename these to .back. Now, you have two new files that you've downloaded from our website. Whether it's the single player one or the multiplayer one, you're going to do this the same way. You're simply going to drag them in. That is all you need to run the game, and now your EAC is bypassed. You can go ahead and hack away. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and load Outriders. I am not going to turn anything off because I want you guys to see this step by step um, without me skipping anything so you guys know that our EAC bypass is actually working and I didn't just change up the files or anything like that. So Just bear with me a second here while this loads. You guys know how Outriders is. Now when I get in, I'm simply going to join a multiplayer lobby just to show you guys that EAC is bypassed and I'm still joining a multiplayer game. Uh, you guys can use whatever trainers or tables that you want. We do have a table as well. The table will allow you to edit your own gear, edit partner's gears, whether they're on Xbox 360 or whatever system they're on. Um, you will still be able to play just fine with them and edit their gear. The reason this is for donators, the big reason is being that... Um, it's can you can really mess up someone's character. If you edit their gun wrong, you can completely corrupt their game and make the character unplayable. So a lot of times donators tend to be um, smarter with their hacks and use them more appropriately. We don't support trolling with it in any way. Um, now I did mess up and join a single player game. So I'm just going to return back out to the lobby. Now if my level's low or anything, you guys need to keep in mind, I don't play Outriders anymore. I'm simply just making this video because we've had a lot of questions with the New Horizons if our EAC bypass still works. So what I'm going to do is right here on join a random team. I'm going to just join a random team under the expedition. And you guys know how Outriders is again, so this is going to take a second to let me into the actual game. <clears throat> now, the one in particular I'm using is our multiplayer EAC bypass. That is the one that allow you to join multiplayer games. If you use the single player one, you, you can still um, bypass EAC and all that and edit your stuff in a single player game. It will just boot you if you try and join a multiplayer game.
Man, it's just taking a little while to find the game, but sometimes that's how it is. And there it is, matchmaking found. Do I want to join? So yeah, let's join. All right, so we're joining a game now, multiplayer, and we're gonna see how this goes. So we'll just test it and um, go from there. So, I'm already in a multiplayer lobby. It doesn't look like any of my teammates are around. But as you guys can see, I'm using a modded weapon and stuff as it is. Um, oh, they kicked me out. <laughs> uh, but I was using a modded gun and everything um, as it was in there. But uh, as long as you find a host that doesn't want to kick you out, you'll be able to play uh, with no issues using that bypass. So I hope this video helped you out. If you guys did, if it did, please like and subscribe. Also, hop over to our Discord or check out our website uh, if this is something that will help you out. Thanks for watching.